so I'm finally doing this guys mm. all right hi guys it's your girl chef Angie here and welcome to my youtube channel yes so finally 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 I started a youtube channel after going ah I will start ah I'll start after all mm, discouragement that mm, you might not make it, you might not blow. Ah, hmm. or you're stressing yourself that you're putting it all on yourself. But hmm. this girl right here wanted to start it, and I mean, I have nothing to lose, so I decided to start it. So, yes, I finally started this channel, and I'm here, guys. So, basically, this is my intro, and I'm going to be telling you who I am, what I do what I hope to achieve on this channel and what I'm going to be doing on this channel so guys stay tuned with me let's move all right so my name is Asai Angel I'm a student of Covenant University and I'm studying computer science I'm from Cross River State and hmm, what else do I do what else am I I think that's all that I need to tell you guys for now. So along the line, you'll definitely get to know more about me. Or if you have any questions, then you can always ask that in the comment section. So yes, what do I do? I'm actually a food blogger. Yes, I started food blogging, sorry, December last year. Uh, well, I won't say December, I'll say November. Yeah, because I actually started posting november but then i started being consistent in december so guys i started posting and hmm, there was a lot to so many discouragement so many ah you will not go there ah you will not blow but i want to say someone that's very very good oriented and even if it takes me a lot of time to achieve something i'll actually definitely go through the process so irrespective of all the hmm, you will not blow hmm, all those things but yeah, there were definitely sometimes I was down, but uh, more. it got to be strong. So I was strong, and then thank God for God that I moved on and I did not stop food blogging because it was something I actually loved, and I discovered that I actually loved cooking during the lockdown. Hmm. Angel never liked entering the kitchen. She was always someone that, oh, kitchen, what's that? I always run away from the kitchen because why am I stressing myself when there's someone that can cook but during that lockdown I've never I've never cooked like the way I cook during lockdown like even the person I usually cook at home told the person to go and rest I was actually the one cooking morning afternoon night morning afternoon night but uh, during this process it actually brought me to where I am today and I'm really thankful for it because Hmm. Right now, the girl is going somewhere. Yes. So, guys, I am a food blogger and I'm also a UI UX designer. I started UI UX designing still the same last year, December. And it was a decision that I made after going through so many hmm, aspects of computer science. Like, I literally went through coding, um, data science cyber security I don't know but all of them seemed boring to me and I'm someone that likes to branch out I like talking to people I don't always like being in one place and for coding coding would require me being in one place and in lack of every time I'm, I don't want that I'm always someone that likes to mm, going to somebody to talk to and you know all of that so I decided to do your UX because UI UX basically has this empathetic state where you try to put yourself in the place of the user whenever you're trying to create something for them. And then at the same time, you could also bring in focus groups where you can ask them to use a particular prototype you've done and see how it works. So basically, I'm um, interacting with the user kind of. I'm not just sitting in one place, searching through plenty, plenty document, plenty, plenty file, or sitting down trying to do int j um, scan f you know all those coding languages things ain't nobody has time for that and i also found out i love designing i just started using canva to design i did some designs on my food page but 
I don't, know. I don't really like them like that because I mean, as you move on, you definitely see that a model so will never cut it. So, yeah, I did some designing on Canva, still getting trying to get used to colors, but yeah, that's where we are now. So, yes, after doing all that, I realized that UI UX I actually wanted to do, and it's designing basically designing the interface of a particular application or web application or a website. So I'm doing UIX now and that's what I'm doing for my IT and let's see where this takes me to. So uh, what else do I love doing? I actually love to eat. I like to try out new things. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I'm always new, new, new. What is new in the area? I can't take this one. What is new? Take this one. I don't like sticking to one train. Like when you're in school, you're eating rice all the time. What's that? Please, I'll literally go everywhere. So that's the kind of person I am. And what else? I think that's basically all. I also love watching anime. Hmm. I have a lot of friends that do not like it, but I still have a friend that loves watching anime. So I love watching anime. It's just like relaxation time for me. Yeah. So now what do i want to achieve no what do i actually want to do with this youtube channel so yes i'm going to be doing food blogging just like what i've been doing on my instagram and now nah, my instagram won't suffer because it's not all recipes i would post here on my instagram it's not all my instagram recipes i would post here on youtube i don't know if that makes sense so yeah and i'm going to be using instagram because i don't know i feel like it's really reachable you can always drag your audience from there to here to come and watch you so definitely i'm not leaving instagram and i'm going to keep posting and posting and keep you guys updated on what's going on so yes i'm not stopping food blogging and i'm also going to be giving tips on life basically so um i've gone through a lot of experiences personal experience is not so much i'm still young i'm not i really branched out like that but literally everything i know i'll try to communicate to you guys if you're stuck in a particular place i'll try to communicate oh this is what i did when i was stuck in this place so basically tips on life coping skills yes and after that i'm also going to be talking about finance management so basically financial literacy so um i got really 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 concerned about this early january because i realized that i have spent a lot of money on a lot of things but i did not even know where they went to i did not even know how they came about and i'm just like ha say if you had budgeting now if you could budget all this one you'll not be having issues that's why my next video is about budgeting guys so yes my no not my next my second video after this is going to be about budgeting so stay tuned guys i'm going to let you guys know what i did during school that made me financially stable yes during school so yeah i'm going to let you guys know so i have a lot of friends who talk to me about ah my money did not get to the end of the month or my money has finished and all those things and i'm like how are you guys spending the money because some sometimes i even see people that have a lot more money than me and then i'm like guys what are you buying that you are spending money like this well so basically i'm just gonna make sure on financial literacy and not to displace the fact i'm actually still learning so it's not like i know all <laughs> I'm still learning and I hope I deliver to you guys well and yeah pray for me so guys um, I'm gonna be doing talks on financial literacy and I'm also going to be giving content creation tips no well not majorly content creation but food blogging tips so anybody that wants to go into it how to go into it what you need to do I am still learning food blogging guys so I'm just basically going to be basically going to be giving you the experiences i have had and what i thought what i think i should have done when i started and you know all of that and juicy juicy news so guys stay tuned and i really hope that we go a long way i'm not quitting youtube anytime soon so guys 
stay tuned and always get to watch me and what else guys i think i'm gonna be posting every sunday that's not been decided yet but i promise to post once a week so please always come to here and listen to what i have to tell ya so what do i what do i want to achieve with my youtube channel i basically want to educate so i would love that people gain financial freedom through my youtube channel i also love it that people see life differently and that life is not a rush guys i would also love it that people would come to my youtube channel and then find recipes that they can eat and then you know be stable you know relaxation recipes and um breakfast recipes things that will not really eat into their time i'm someone that is always keen about time so i would really love it if you come to my channel you see things that oh my, this one not into my time oh my, this one's gonna make me relax let me stay here and actually watch how to do this thing and actually do it and then ha ah, guys this was a lot so i think i've come to the end of this video and i really hope that you guys actually stay with me till that time and yeah so i think i don't have any other thing to say and i think i'm done so thank you guys for watching and hmm, this is now the most important part please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video and share this video guys please do not forget to subscribe and yeah i'll see you in my next video toodles lovelies bye